Hello and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. Today I'm talking about a personal finance tracking tool called Pocketsmith. I'm gonna, I'm gonna categorize this as a productivity video. Now, this tool, Pocketsmith, is a tool that I've been using for over five years to track my personal finances. Um, it connects with your bank account, your credit card, your mortgage accounts to pull in the actual transactions that you're making. And so it can provide you with a complete picture of where your money's coming from and where it's going. And really the goal is to then help you make better financial decisions going forward uh, and so it's great at just showing you where have you where have you spent but also it, it has elements of forecasting as well because you can set up budgets and you can see you know based on the expenses that I'm expecting uh, this is what's going to happen to my finances going forward so yeah I really don't have enough uh, good stuff to say about Pocketsmith I log in and look at my account a number of times per month to see how I'm doing and yeah it really does just help me keep um, and maintain good personal spending habits so today I'm going to introduce you to some of my favorite features and the important features that I think new users need to be conscious of. There really are though a ton of features in Pocketsmith that I'm not going to cover today. And even as a veteran user, someone who's been using this tool for a while, even now I still discover new little tricks and new ways to use it and little features that I'm not fully aware of. So definitely spend some time with it. There is a bit of a learning curve, but once you just wrap your head around the basics, you will start to get a ton of useful information out of this tool. So let's get started. Let's look at some of the key features. I'm in a demo account here. This isn't my account. I'm just in demo mode. And so starting off, we're here on the dashboard. This is kind of the main screen you see when you log in. It just gives you a snapshot of your recent spending and your projected forecast going forwards. So this graph here, this green section, this is based on actual transactions and it shows us how our spending has changed. And the blue section here, this is looking at our budgets and uh, our income and our expenses to look at what is your financial position likely to do going forward. So here you can see these little increases as, as income comes in and then generally going down as we spend money, but overall trending up, which is good. I really like this pie chart here or this donut because it shows like where really easily, where is your money going? So we can see one of the biggest categories, like a third of the income we're getting here is going towards rent. Another big thing is entertainment, eating out. So we can really quickly see where our money is going and the inner ring showing us, yeah, where is money coming from? So this dashboard, it's just really providing a really nice kind of snapshot. The, uh, the real detail is in some of these other reports and things though. Now, when getting started, I think one of the best places to start with is come to this account summary page. I don't really go to this page much now as an existing user, but it's where you want to go to get started because you can set up all your, your accounts. And following the on-screen instructions here, you can actually connect to your bank account and Pocketsmith does connect with hundreds or thousands of financial providers around the world. And so you can pull in your live transaction data. And so you want to connect, you know, your everyday account where your income is paid to, uh, maybe a credit card, mortgage accounts, things like that. And you can even add other assets to this page as well. Once you've connected your accounts, um, it's probably worth setting up some budgets. So these are, first thing we, I want to kind of clarify is the difference between a budget and a category. So here we can see that on the left, these are categories. And this is something I didn't quite understand when I was getting started, but these are different categories of spending. So for things like sal uh, salary, where our money is coming to, and then household expenses like rent and utilities, food, entertainment, and so on. Budgets go into categories, okay? So at the, when I first got started, I just thought, oh, let's just do household as $500 a month. But what you can actually do is set up individual budgets for smaller purchases within that category. Make sense? So as an example, within utilities, if I go into the category budgets here, we can see multiple um, types of expenses. So there's the phone budget here of $290 a month, and there's home broadband of $50 a month. So there are multiple budgets within the category. And this is useful because we can set up different fre different frequencies for different types of spending. So maybe you have a home broadband bill that you pay every month, but then my council rates I pay every quarter. So you can set up the different frequencies, the different amounts for the different parts that you pay, but it's all still associated with the household uh, category. And setting up a new budget is really easy. So you can just click new budget here. So let's say, let's do another household one. Let's do utilities. And I'm gonna say $30 every on the 15th of every month. And let's just say this is water. And you can select the account here as well. You wanna make sure you select the right account to spe so that Pocketsmith knows where is this um, transaction gonna happen from. So we're gonna do it from our credit card and obviously get it right. Is it an expense or is it income? 
So now that I've saved that, that will update my forecast so that Pocketsmith can more accurately project my income and my expenses going forward. And now if I look at this, you'll see there's a new line item here for that water expense every month. So yeah, when getting started, I would spend some time, even look at your transactions over the last month. Where is your money being spent? What are those re regular recurring payments that you need to make? And try and put as much detail into here as you can, because it really will help Pocketsmith to give you a much more accurate forecast of your financial position going forward. So that would be the second thing I do. Third thing I do then is come to your transactions. Now, this is really the place you want to come in and check um, every week or a couple of times a month, because this is actually showing your activity. So it's pulling in transactions from your credit card account, your everyday account, and it's categorizing them into those categories that we saw just before. So for example, the fixed cafe, $8, is assigned to eating out. Um, here's a payment to the Visa credit card, and it's categorized as a credit card repayment. And actually over here, you can see it's marked as a transfer. And that's important because you can see here the green one, uh, this is the money going out from the bank account, and here's the green money coming in to the credit card account. And they're both marked as a transfer, which means they basically cancel each other out. These are not treated as sources of income or expenses. They just because they cancel each other out. But yeah, you basically want to come in here and look at you, your transactions a number of times per month. Make sure the categories are correct. Pocketsmith will attempt to also categorize your transactions, um, but you might want to fix anything up that's wrong. Um, and you can, if you need to, you can click on the category and you can quickly change it to anything you want. And you can also put in any notes or even upload attachments. This is one of my favorite features as well. Sometimes I like to leave myself notes about what it was that I purchased and the attachments are great. Um, I actually often use Pocketsmith basically as a digital filing cabinet for my receipts. Not for every transaction, but for big ticket items that I purchase. So let's say I buy a new phone. Um, when I make that payment, I photograph the receipt and the photograph goes into here. So that if I ever have any issues, if I need to get back my receipt, I can search for my transaction and I might even put notes in here to make it easier to find. So because the transaction might be coded as, you know, phone company, um, I might put in my notes iPhone so that if I search for iPhone, it pops up. Um, but then I can quickly retrieve my receipt as well. So highly recommend, yeah, starting to put receipts in here. And you can see as well, Pocketsmith does support labels. So this is really useful, uh, a common scenario where I use labels is for things like travel. So when you go away on holiday, you spend money on eating out, you spend money on transport, but then, uh, so you categorize them all to the categories you would normally use, eating out, transport. But then I use the label to label everything as my holiday so that I can then just look at everything labeled with that holiday, even though there's a bunch of things for diff from different categories there, I can really quickly see everything I spent on holiday. So those labels can be really useful as well. But yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely the third thing I would do when getting started is go through your recent transactions, make sure they've been coded correctly. And you can as well set up your own category rules. So for example, let's say this is not eating out. Let's just say it's actually groceries. I could then make this a category rule by ticking this box. This means, this means that when Pocketsmith sees a transaction with that description again, it's automatically going to categorize it as groceries. And so, yeah, if you just do those few things, so set up your budgets and go through your transactions a number of times per month, those are the most important things you need to do. And then you can start retrieving lots of really useful information from the reports in Pocketsmith. So one of my favorite reports is this one here, the cash flow report, because it shows me not just for this month, but for previous months, um, where has my mon money come from and where is it being spent? So we can see for October, $2,976 of income, 310 repaying the credit card, and here are all my expenses as well. And so we have a net saving of about $350. We can see for December, based on our budgets, we're actually going to hopefully save about $1,500, which is great. And so that's where those budgets are really useful because it shows you how much you're going to save uh, on different months based on your transactions. So this is a report that I like to look at at the end of the month so I can see, you know, where, where did I spend money? Maybe where was, where was I overspending? Where was I underspending? How much did I earn? And overall, how much did I save? That's the main thing. So this is a great report to look at once a month. And then the calendar screen is really useful as well for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if I have this box show actuals in history checked, I can then go back and I can see all of my transactions on a calendar layout so I can see my actual transactions and when they happened. 
But going forward in time, I can see my budgeted transactions. What am I likely to spend? So you can see for the month of November, here every week is a $240 rent payment that's due to go out. Um, I can see my entertainment every week. I can see my salary coming in uh, on um, every fortnight as well. And a really useful feature, if you know that you have one-off like big expenses coming up or even income that's due to come in, you can put them directly on the calendar and this will update your forecast. So let's look ahead to December. And so here's my forecast right now. Let's say in December on the 11th, I'm gonna get a bonus. I'm expecting a bonus from work. So I can add a salary and wages and let's do $5,000 bonus. And it's just a one-off a one -off budget. Um, I'm not gonna do it weekly or monthly uh, and I'm obviously going to make it an income budget and it's going to go into my bank account so I'm just going to say Christmas bonus so I've budgeted for that expense uh, that income to come in and we'll see now um, there's a nice jump happening in December as that um, income comes in so it's updated my forecast so this is a really useful feature is that you can budget these one-off big expenses or big sources of income as well so there you are, there is a brief look at Pocketsmith. Like I said, these are just some of the basic features to look at getting started. Like I said, to start with, connect your bank accounts, set up some budgets, and then start just categorizing your transactions properly. From there, Pocketsmith kind of does the rest. It puts everything into nice reports. There's things I haven't covered, like the trends, your net worth, income digest. Uh, there's some really great information you can get out of here. But when just getting started, just look at, you know, the cash flow is really great, and, and, and just getting into the habit of checking this a couple of times per month to check those transactions. And over time, you will be amazed at just the um, information that you can get out with the intention of basically making you a, a better, <laughs> more financially responsible, I guess, it will help you to follow um, better financial habits. Uh, so if you have any questions about Pocketsmith, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video.